Across the street from Trails Kootenai Boundary Regional Hospital, workers are cutting down trees and making room for a new helipad. But the people working inside the hospital are upset about what they say are cuts in funding that will mean fewer critical care nurses. I can't believe that people's lives have a price tag and that they're willing to um, cut nurses when they're needed all across this country and essentially eliminating the nursing shortage by eliminating the positions. At least five full-time nursing positions are being cut at the hospital. That'll mean fewer surgeries. Doctors at Kootenai Boundary are taking the unprecedented step of offering to pay to keep the nurses working. And this is something that has not been done anywhere else before in BC or in Canada probably. But we're desperate. We're here to work and we want to help the people. The people here are our friends and family. We want to serve them. And, and the hospital, interior health is failing this area. The doctor's offer has the government facing questions in the legislature. To the Minister of Health, will he stand up today? Will he stand up and defend the rights of patients in the Kootenays and say no to these cuts in the area? The wait times at Kootenay Boundary Regional Hospital are actually lower than the provincial average. The wait time for a knee surgery is about 40% lower on average than the provincial average. And so the adjustment that's being made in OR times, Mr. Speaker, will move it up to the provincial average, which is still, it will still be better than uh, comparable hospitals, uh, in, uh, comparable facilities and hospitals uh, in the region. Well, he's totally not understanding the situation in the Kootenays, and by saying that we have a great number, a great wait list. It's, it's just, it's appalling. It's, it's disrespectful to the people in the Kootenays who are actually on wait lists, who will be on a longer wait list now because that surgery room has been cut. Giselle was recruited from Winnipeg thinking she was coming to a stable full-time job. 18 months later, doctors are trying to keep her and other scarce, highly skilled nurses in the Kootenays. Obviously, this is going to affect the people of the Kootenays. Um, as a result, the emergency services are going to be diminished. Um, nursing staff is going to be overworked. While trees are being picked up and hauled away from the hospital site, doctors are doing everything they can to try and prevent a trimming of critical nursing positions.